Good morning, guys. My name is Norega Reginald, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take a lot of your time because, you know, I know we, we don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to go straight to it, yeah? Um, my sincere and utmost gratitude and appreciation to all media houses and stakeholders for gracing us with your presence today. The reason for this press briefing today is to do an official statement on the press release through an Instagram post by my big brother, artist, and Kenyan superstar Otile Brown, dated 6th June 2023. I must first start by saying it's very crystal evident that all good things must come to an end. It is official that my time working with my brother Otile Brown as his management, notably his business manager, has finally come to an end after six solid years of a remarkable era of collaboration and partnership. To echo his words, I'm super, super grateful for the journey, the memories, and the success. We've shared so many great memories together, traversed the whole world together on a business capacity. Through our Middle East tours, Australian tour, Baby Love Europe tour, the UK and United States of America tour, we have also achieved immense business success as a brand and also on a personal capacity and for that I'm very grateful. I want to thank Otile Brown for being such a great artist, a business partner and most importantly a friend. I do not see a well better decorated artist, a true icon, a musical genius and a legend in the making. To Otile Brown's official team DJ Osama, Calvin's Photography, Tony Arms, the Dynamic Band, all in-house producers under the guidance of Ihaji Medit, social media team under Kulha and Derek, the legal team led by Mr. Kibiru, the technical team. It's been an ab absolute pleasure and honor working alongside you all. Your dedication to the brand is unmatched and unprofound. Best of luck with the new management. Last but not least, I want to thank, most importantly, the fans, the supporters of the brand, media houses, all business entities, all corporate partners, brands, fellow artists, and prom promoters across the world for amazing business relations we enjoyed during my tenure as Otile Brown's management. We couldn't have accomplished what we did without you. Salute. Noriega Donsel, CEO and founder, RKC Cartel. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite the press for any questions. Hi, uh, good morning, Noriega. Morning to you, Mungai. Eve. Uh, of course, we've been seeing, uh, we saw the post from yeah. Martina Brown, and you as well confirmed that you guys have parted ways. Maybe for clarification, do you mind telling us why it happened? Is it that uh, the end of your contract came, or what happened exactly? Uh, um, what I'd like to say is, uh, uh, of course, you know, our contract period, you know, ended um, in March, around March, yeah? So, um, I feel like, you know, like I said, you know, everything, every good thing must come to an end. I feel like this is where we're supposed to part ways. Mm -hmm. We are... Uh, Has it affected your relationship with him as a brother? No, not really. There's no problem between me and Otile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we expect to see you maybe supporting him maybe during his events and everything? In, in what capacity exactly? Because yeah, no support, support is, is wide. Mm -hmm. When you say like when it comes to events, mm -hmm. what, what do you mean exactly? Okay, maybe at the event, do we expect to see you go there support his work, attend him? Of course, you know, in terms of support, now it's going to be like in different capacities. Mm -hmm. When he has events, am I free? You understand? Will I have that time to, you know, go? Because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm a businessman. I have, like you see, I have, you know, a, a, a record label, the RKC Cartel, which, you know, uh, we're going to be launching very soon. And I want to focus on, you know, building the brand. So in terms of that kind of support, there's a lot that's going to be dependent on that. But there's no issue. 
if ever there's a good event and we have time, we can definitely come and support. Okay, you've mentioned about having a record label. Yeah. Do you have the artists that you've already identified that you're going to work with or you're yet to do that? So currently the RKC Cartel record label has um, two artists. One, um, I think if you follow my work, one is called Lexil, yeah? He's a very good artist, young, fresh talent. And then um, the other artist, I, I'm not going to say the name, but she's, she's based in the U.S. She's a, she's a really great talent. When we do the launch in the next coming few months, which I believe we, we're going to extend an invitation to, to you guys, then we can talk more about you know, the artist. But for now, we have Lexil, and you know, we have a new song called Don't Give Up, featuring Jovial. Kindly go and support. Yeah. Uh, talking of record label uh, in our country, uh, we have a few of them that are doing well. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, um, still record label will come and go. Unfortunately, we don't do so well. Maybe you can tell us what are some of the strategies that you are coming to ensure that this label uh, will sustain the artist and also it's going to uh, be on another level. Um, when when um, I, I'll start by saying yeah. The reason why most record labels, I feel like they don't really do well or they don't like um, stay for long uh, is because um, there's a lot that goes into the music business, yeah? As you can see, I, uh, I have at least seven, eight years of experience in the music business, right? That means I've been learning a lot, you know, I've been working on, you know, just understanding the business. Most people don't understand the music is actually business. People just feel like, oh, I need to sign an artist, and then I just need to push him, and then that's it. For me, I took seven good years to start my first you know, record label because it's always a learning lesson. You have to learn, you have to better yourself, you have to understand the craft, you have to understand the music, you have to understand what music sells, you have to understand what um, strategies to implement, there's a lot there's a lot in regards to marketing so there's a lot that people don't really understand most people are just businessmen they just have money I'm like I want to support artists let me put you know um, let me start a record label but then they forget there's the business part you have to understand the business before you even decide to you know start a record label and that's why for me it took it took me at least let's say seven good years to get here and I'll tell you for a fact RKC is well capable as a fully fledged record label. It's only a matter of time because you know they say good things take time. I believe in the next you know few months, days, years, you guys will see the results. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, maybe you can tell us how would you describe uh, your journey with Otilia Brown? It's been eight, uh, I mean six good years of working together. How would you describe? It's been a it's been a crazy journey, roller coaster. You know, there's always ups and down. There's good times. There's bad times. There's you know ugly times. But um, the good thing is, you know, when you have a proper understanding, you know, uh, as management with the artist that you're working with, it becomes really really easier to maneuver. So what I uh, um, I like to say is, um, it's been a great great journey um, my heart is actually content you understand the fact the fact that we part ways at this point has my heart at peace because you know we've done so much together I believe you know um, what we've done can you know really speak you know on itself so uh, I'll, I'll just say it's a beautiful journey yeah today um, the government is set to launch Talanta yeah. And uh, as, a, as a record holder, yeah. and uh, uh, someone who has experience in music, you think the government is giving input enough to Kenyan musicians? The government is not really doing um, much when it comes to supporting the music business and artistry. Um, and there's a lot. Um, if let's say, if we can even go back to last year. We had um, what's it called the Nairobi Festival, yeah. This is a, an establishment and an, and, a, and an entity by the Ni 
in the county government. You understand? A lot of artists until today have not even gotten paid. You understand? And this is the government. Artists came, you know, they put in their work, they did right by the, you know, the, the government and the contracts. But till today, I can tell you, I know a lot of artists who didn't even get paid. You understand? There is, I feel like there's so much the government could be doing when it comes to the, you know, supporting the music. There is a lot, but um, that's a discussion for another day. Yeah. Yeah. Otile Brown, um, one thing Nguvu um, I don't think there's an artist who's uh, sorry na fanijibu wa Kiswahili sio. Kiswahili kigumu kidogo ila I'm going to try. Eh nguvu moja nitasema ni nzuri zaidi ya Otile Brown uh, ni he's a very focused you know artist he any artist energy lewa you understand he knows what he wants and you know he knows um what you know he brings to the table and also the good thing about him is that he doesn't compromise ni mrudiko kizungu kidogo but samahani yeah so i i'd say yeah, yeah he he's a very you know focused person he knows what he wants and he's on top of things 100% the launch of the new music level, what are the visions and goals of this? So uh, our, 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 our main agenda is to, you know, um, uplift talents. This is what happened, yeah? A lot of people don't know. When I tell you, for me, I'm a product of, you know, experience in the industry, yeah? It means I learned to do the business on the job, you understand? I was not born, I, I didn't go to school to become a manager, you understand? I didn't. I didn't go to like the university and say, hey, I want to, you know, become, you know, to learn music management. No, I had to learn on the job. But what this, ha what happened is, Otila, you know, gave me, he believed in me and he gave me an opportunity. So that's the same, same thing we're extending to, you know, to new upcoming talents. We're creating a record label to give an opportunity that can change, you know, other artists, you know, uh, lives and proud, you know, most importantly, their families. Because you know, when you build an artist, they can be able to impact, you know, Jami and also their families. So for us, our main goal is to create, you know, opportunities to new and an upcoming talent, so that they can, you know, um, support, you know, the future generations and their families. Okay. How how do you plan to support the upcoming artists? And there are, are you specific on different genres? That you're going to focus on? Um, with my understanding of the business, yeah, and the experience I've had for a while, I'm very particular with the kind of sound that I'm looking for, yeah. And with time, I believe um, the fans and everybody else will see the kind of talent that we're looking for. For I'm very, very specific when it comes to the sound. For me, I'm looking for a sound. It's not about just talent. Anybody can sing. You understand? Anybody can go to the studio and do what they can do, but I'm looking for a very specific sound. And with time, when we keep, you know, putting out the music, then people will realize um, the kind of sound that we're looking for. Uh, maybe a question. Uh, because we've seen you guys uh, with tour worldwide, also uh, in the country. Yeah. And how have been up on sound that have been uh, uh, in the way to deal with the Asana, especially when you guys go yeah. Uh, there are some fans who feel like uh, Otila Brown is really not as uh, good as we thought when it comes to live performance. All right. But you can tell us uh, what maybe that it happens. Um, I don't know, that's, that's a tricky question because now I'm not really supposed to be speaking on any anything Otila Brown's business. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think I can be able to answer that question for now. Yeah. I'm to me a Jumbo Tilly Brown. Just tell me, Brown, you're my big brother. I love you so much, and I wish you the very best. Um, you know, in a, in a new journey with your new team. God bless you, and I'm always a phone call away in case you need me. So, uh, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, we see uh, before 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 you opened your label. Yeah. Uh, we understand that uh, Lexi 
uh, was previously signed under Juan Otile's label. Yeah, yeah. And Kidogo uh, Kasana, like in the Lapiga Shubu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it with Lexil that you feel that that, that uh, when Munyong and Chukua is it Otile who had signed him in Otile's label or is it Nauriega who had signed uh, Lexil in Otile's label? Asabu me ono kame. No, but if it's Otile's label, I cannot really be the one to sign him on Otile's label. So it's actually Otile Brown who signed Lexil under Just in Love Music. Yeah, and you know for one reason or another, you know I'm not just in love. I I was Otile Brown's manager. But Otile Brown owns a record label, Just in Love Music. I was no part of Just in Love. And you know, for one reason or another, the working arrangement didn't really work. But um, to, to, to answer your question, you know, Lexil is a very, very talented artist. He has um, a, a natural gift yeah, when it comes to music. And also, he knows what he wants to. And he's, he, he has so much passion for music. He, Lexil, you know, I feel like um, I'm just um, grateful, you know, to, to, be, to be able to find um, talent. Because you see, when it comes to Otile, Otile knows what he wants to, yeah? So uh, when you find somebody who understands what they want, and you as a businessman and a man management, you know what you want, it's easier for you guys to work together. So it's the same, same thing. Lexil also knows what he wants. He's very patient. He believes in himself. And, and you know he listens also I like you know I like the fact that you know he listens I told him this is what happened Lexel used to pester me a lot for almost a year Noriega I want to work with you I want to work with you as my manager and I would keep telling him I'm not ready to to, to you know to take another artist yet I'm not in a position where I feel like I can build you to the best of my ability but he, you know what he tell me I'm, I'm gonna still keep working yeah I'm gonna still keep working until you feel like you're ready to work with me then we can sit down and work together so he's somebody who believes in me and i believe in him too and i'm excited you know for what you know what lies ahead yeah, so another question concerning uh lexil yeah, yeah first maybe someone who doesn't know lexil guys lexil are you go for your mess up that's true. We have to clarify that on a just national. The other people in the No, no. Sorry, maybe. So I understand. Maybe I can introduce you to um, the gentleman seated on my left. Yeah, he's called Ansbert. Um, he's a. Uh, he's actually uh, in the finance department in the company. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So another question, which is uh, I feel is very important concerning Lexil. Yeah. Uh, now we've seen Lexil is big. Like there's a time he's been ranked uh, one of the most watched on uh, the other platform. Uh, Spotify. Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's rare to see him perform like locally in Kenya. Yeah. We haven't seen him. He's not being booked uh, mm -hmm. in gigs. And the gigs he has done, uh, maybe mostly in Jainchi, he was being tagged along uh, the artists yeah. who you used to manage. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what can we say uh, our case is going to do to make sure that uh, Lexil and Apatamadi because most people are doing Lexil until maybe Jovial, Akajikitu uh, Nae, Ama, Otile, you see, people yeah, yeah. don't know Lexil, but he's big, he has talent as you said, me and Mkubali Sam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he has done projects with even uh, Reivani, and yeah, the yeah. song what we're going to focus on is Viva Niboy. So what is it that uh, you as a manager is going to do? to add more value to this artist because it's a band that we have to attend Gibia, Lexi. Nice, nice. That's a very good question, yeah? Thanks to Mbili. Thank you. Um, to answer your question, yeah? What we're doing right now, you know, we signed Lexil um, end of last year, yeah? When I was in the U.S. And um, currently the plan is, you know, to build his brand. You understand? Lexil cannot go do a show locally because he's not big yet. His brand is not to that level where you can say, hey, let, let him you know, do a show here, you understand? So what we're, we're working on is you know, we have plans, we have strategy to build, to focus and build on his brand so that he can become you know, um, you know, a national you know, household name also, yeah? And, and to also, you know, like I said, you know, his sound, um, like you said, is more international. You know, he has you know, the biggest you know, song on Spotify, yeah? Uh, for I, I believe Kenyan artists, so the plan is also his big. You know his his song crosses over international easier 
but you see the lock the, in, in, in the Kenyan market, yeah? The song is, is not even that big, yeah? So we, as a, as a record label, we understand we need to put in work to build his brand at home first. He has to become a big brand in Kenya even before, you know, he, you know, he gets to, to, the, to the international platforms. So the plan is there, we're going to work on that. And I know for a fact in the next couple of years, Okay, another question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so. Yeah, so another question. Yeah. Uh, the, your, your, your artist just released a song which is doing very well, featuring Jovio. And uh, let me let me talk about the video. The video is kind of controversial. Yeah. It, it features one uh, Baha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. been a debate. Uh, you guys were chasing cloud with Baha. Uh, for the video, so as part of the team that uh, funded the video, what was the happening? Like, we may want a story. Yeah, was it cloud or not cloud? Yeah, 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 cloud or not. What do you think? What do you guys think? Was it cloud or not? BTG, you got cloud, Tama? Nani, nani. Ah. I, I think I'll just say um, that's a case of you know opportunity meets preparation, yeah. Because what happened is you know um, we had worked on the video prior, yeah. So we shot the video. We the thing is we wanted to bring out a really nice storyline, and who better to go to than you know our you know Baha. You know he's a great talent when it comes to acting. So we we had planned you know to. Um, we shot the video before, you know, the whole drama, you know, the Nas Judy coming out and saying da 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 da, you understand? But, um, the, you know, you shoot a video, you have a release schedule, right? The release schedule was in that same, same week, right before, you know, the drama happened. And that's why you see, he still shared. So what people don't understand is, we were not chasing clouds. That's the truth. Uh, for me, in I, I mean, I understand what cloud, cloud means for the business. I know there are artists who, before they release a music, they have to do, you know, cloud. They have to create some form of, you know, kiki. But, you know, with the level of talent that I've worked with, we never really had to do that. It was never really our focus. So even with the, with the new talent that I'm going to be working with, it's, it's going to be, if it's cloud, it's going to be like a very, very strategic sort of a cloud. It's not going to be just like any, any other cloud. So that's just a case of, you know, we had a video, it was ready, you know, it happened, the release day coincided, you know, with the same, same time, and we just released the songs. So, yeah, Mwisho. Yeah. Uh, lately, we've seen so many talents being posted on uh, Live Gossip and other platforms. Yeah. What one and the Asana, how is your talents, it could be people should do something about those talents. And so far, we haven't seen any, anybody coming out to support those talents, what Kaki Nangesh, Rex, yeah. and the ETC. So you as a label, are you in a position to give maybe one or two of them an opportunity to showcase uh, what they do? Yeah, the reason why we started the record label is basically to do that, to do that, yeah, to support you know new and coming talents, yeah. Uh, but you see, uh, it's a fully it's a full record label. I'm just the face. You understand? I'm the founder but there's a team yeah and the the reason we're ready to support any talent yeah so long as you have the same same vision that we have and you're ready to work we're definitely more than happy to you know support talent yeah because we believe in talent talent is what got us here and we have to keep supporting talent on behalf of kido he's asking how much did you pay baha Hey, Baha, we paid him a lot of cash. I'm not going to lie. We paid him, like, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Noriega, I want to say congratulations. You've done, a, you've done much in the industry. You've impacted uh, the industry, the growth of uh, the music industry, I can say that. Honestly. Thank you very much, uh, Kido. Of course, sometimes we differ on how you, you guys run your things. Sometimes you guys do kick so We feel like you guys have much potential to do much. It is much for you guys. That's now, true. my question is very simple. Uh, one. 
through your journey working with Otile for the last six years, I don't know what is your reward. Otile has given you maybe an appreciation in terms of money, in terms of grief, in terms of a house. Yeah. Because you've done much, a lot. Uh, second, uh, uh, my second question was uh, now uh, moving forward. What is the relationship with you with Otile? Is it in terms of business consultation? Are you guys still running out together? Or what is the change? All right. Thank you very much for the for the warm words, Kido. Yeah, I appreciate. It. Um, first question is what 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 did I the gift I got? Ah, nice. That's a very good question. And I feel like you know people look at gifts, you know, in you know, in different capacities. Yeah, the people who want material, you know, material gifts, and the people who um, appreciate. You see, somebody like me. I, I feel like the greatest, you know, gift Otile ever gave me was an opportunity. You understand? He believed in me, you know, at a time where, uh, you know, it was crucial, you know, it was a crucial point, you know, of his career. But he, you know, he gave me an opportunity. And for that, you know, I'm forever grateful. For me, it's never about material things, yeah? I know a lot of people want to, you know, there's more to you know gifting and blessings than you know just the material stuff. And then also, I don't I don't feel like it's right for me to. Kusema nime 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 gift you a hiki na hiki na hiki. He's gifted me on my birthday. We were coming from London. He got me a gift, and I really really appreciate it. Yeah. So I'm not the kind of a person who's gonna come out and say, uh, I don't know. As a gentleman, I don't feel like it's really right, but. He's done so much for me, and I really appreciate. To answer your second question, um, we're we're in a good place. We're in a good place. There's no issue. The only thing we're not doing is we're not doing business together. Okay, the reason why I asked that is that because yeah. much you've done a lot with Otile, so now moving forward because I believe Otile, you'll be earning from Otile's maybe booked show before the announcement. Mm -hmm. You'll be earning from Otile's uh, realities. I don't know if there's a split sheet. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Akuna Deni, we're, we're, we're very professional people, yeah? And we run the brand on a you know, professional capacity, so Hamna Deni. And as you can see, like I said, the split was going to happen a while back, mm -hmm. you understand? About, I think, March, when we came back from, from Germany. But there's contracts that we had to see through that were still under my company, yeah? And including, you know, the London Festival that was very successful, yeah. So we had to give that all that time, you understand, to you know, to make sure everything is good. So Hamna Deni Kabisa, and any contracts that are still valid will still remain valid. You understand? Yeah. Uh, another question is, what makes uh, RKC different from other music labels in Kenya? Uh, what makes RKC different from other? music record label yeah. um, I can't really answer your question directly yeah because that would mean I'm sort of trying to compare and compete and for me I, I, I really don't I don't really compete I don't compare the only person that you know I try to compete with is you know the person I was yesterday yeah but I'll tell you for a fact RKC is a solid record label we have really really great plans um, and how we're gonna build the record label because you see, I don't even know how other record labels operate. I've never worked for any other record label. I don't know the you know the mode of operation, so I can't even say we do this different. They do this different. I can I cannot really speak on that. But I just want people to know that RKC is a is a very solid record label, and we've we have um, um, crazy crazy resources and investments, and we're ready to take um, the Kenyan music to the next level. That's for a fact. Maybe a last one. You worked with uh, Jovial before. Sure. And uh, just in that music. Maybe do you think you can think of bringing her to a case at Only time will tell. Only time will tell. <laughs> Only time will tell. Okay. But she's a, she's a phenomenal artist. Phenomenal. Yeah. The last, last one. Sure, sure. Uh, you, you, you mentioned that she still approached you long time when you were working with Tilly Brown, but when we look at the platform of Tilly Brown, 
I haven't seen any, maybe there is, but uh, so we haven't seen any collabo between the two. What could you say was the problem that they need to come to do a collabo perhaps? Oh, Lexi and Otile have two songs. Biggest song Lexi has is, you know, Bounce oh, featuring Otile Bounce. Brown. Yeah, that's the biggest. So they've, they've worked together, you know, he, they have another song called Remedy, which, you know, is still doing really, really amazing, yeah? So, yeah. So they, again, do the collab on the Chamas and Lexi and Otile is your past? There's no, there's no issue. If you look at, you know, um, you know, you know, collaborations, are, mm -hmm. I feel like they're very, you know, strategic um, projects that, you know, an artist and his management um, in decide to undertake, yeah? So if ever there's a time and we feel like this project could, you know, suit Otile, we'll definitely, you know, reach out and, you know, and see, you know, the way forward. Because, you know, like I said, there's no issue, you know, between us. We still, you know, maintain, a, you know, a, a friend, you know, a friendship. And... If, if also you look at um, Lexil's, you know, EP, Love and Vibes EP, the project came out after we came back from, you know, from Europe, and there's a song called Tonight. The video just came out like two weeks ago. Otile, uh, Lexil featuring, you know, Otile. Yeah. Thank you so much, Noriaga and the team. Sure. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate. It. God bless you.